we did the math, and it's cool. Because not only do we have a lot of addresses in IPv6, we have a lot of a lot of a lot of addresses in IPv6. Uh, how many, basically, if you look at the internet today, we have two, 32 bits, gets you what, about two billion addresses, give or take. Um, if I give, I have enough addresses in IPv6 that I can give every person, not just every home, but every person on Earth today their own internet block of addresses, the equivalent of those two billion addresses you have. And I will still have billions upon billions upon trillions of addresses that I've never even allocated. We can give an address to everybody in your family that's ever been alive, and, and we're still good. We have a lot of addresses. So video addresses display is not a problem. But what it lets us now do is the following smart things. So Jonathan's uh, environment can actually recognize that he's watching SpongeBob first. And when I come online with a second device in the same home, one of the potentials we can do, this is one of the dreams, is I can say, hey, I'm gonna watch SpongeBob. Does anybody else got SpongeBob? And he'll go, yeah, I'm, I'm watching SpongeBob. I say, great. So all the copies of the, the stuff you got coming down in, I know I've already missed the first 20 minutes, but from now on, could you keep a copy of that around for me? Or could I store it someplace so that instead of going back up to the network to get the rest of the movie after that first 20 minutes, I'll just go get the first 20 minutes that I haven't got, but then I'll get the rest of the stuff locally or from a near cache. And so I start making smarter use of the network. So instead of shipping the same package twice, I ship it once and reuse it twice. 